In this problem, we're given a container filled with helium gas at an initial pressure, volume, and temperature. Then the gas is warmed so that both its pressure and volume double, and we're asked to find the final temperature. We'll do this using the ideal gas law, PV equals nRT, writing it for both the final state and the initial state. If we divide these two equations, the number of moles and the gas constant both cancel. And we know that the ratio of the pressures, final to initial, equals 2. And the ratio of the volumes, final to initial, also equals 2. That gives us the result that the final temperature is 4 times the initial temperature. This temperature needs to be in Kelvin, so we convert 41 Celsius into Kelvin, and substitute that, finding that the final temperature is 1257 Kelvin. Converting back to Celsius gives us 984 degrees Celsius. In part B, we're asked to find how many grams of helium are in the container. To do this, we'll first find the number of moles, and then use the molar mass to find the mass. We'll find the number of moles using the ideal gas law, PV equals nRT, solving it for the number of moles n, and that equals PV over RT. The pressure and the volume are given in units of atmospheres and liters, so it's useful to have the gas constant R in those units. If we look that up, we see that it's 0 0.08206 liter atmosphere per mole Kelvin. Now we can substitute the initial temperature in Kelvin the pressure in atmospheres, and the volume in liters, finding the container holds this many moles. If we multiply that by the molar mass, capital M, we see that the mass of helium in the container is 0 0.0894 grams. 